Hey, hey, what's up? It's Randy once again, and welcome to another episode of my channel. Thank you for joining me. Guess what time it is once again? It's lunchtime, and today I'm going to check out the cheese steak shop. What I'm going to do is kind of check out a few of the cheese steak places in the area and then kind of determine which one I like the best. Uh, I've been watching a few uh, reels and uh, vlogs and stuff on food and I saw the, the cheesesteak and I'm like, wow, that, that sounds really good. So I decided to kind of search it up around this area and I'm going to kind of, you know, determine which one's the best. It's 12 o'clock somewhere. Let's go. Check it out. Here's the inside. He's firing up the menus. I'm the first one here today. And then they have the soda over here on the side. All right, I just got my food. Check it out. I got the King of Philly classic cheesesteak. Hey, what's up? I made it back to the car. I have the food. Oh my gosh. This looks good too. Let's check it out. It's the King of Philly classic cheese steak. Look at that. And I forgot my sodas today from my house. So I, I was kind of forced to buy a, uh, a soda from them. And as usual, they're really expensive. They're well, they're, it was like almost $4 with tax just for a small one. But there, there's the, uh, the thumbnail, gotta get a good thumbnail. Woo! All right, I gotta get my tray here. I'm sitting in uh, in the shaded spot here. I kinda wanted to hang out a little bit just to kinda see how busy this place gets. Um, there's been a few, there was a couple people that walked in, at, you know, after I ordered, there was a, uh, yeah, a couple people that walked in and ordered. So uh, there's like three customers so far and uh, another car just pulled up too. So yeah, let's check this out. Got my tray set up. But yeah, I don't really know what is authentic when it comes to cheesesteak uh, other than what I have tried from you know, like, like every once in a while, you'll see like a sandwich shop. They offer like a Philly cheesesteak. I think Subway did for a while. And I kind of got the, uh, you know, and then there's other things, um, like, um, stuff that you can buy at the grocery store that, that has, uh, it's, it's like Philly cheesesteak flavored and stuff like that. But I always, um, liked the idea of the Philly cheesesteak sub and um so i i've been kind of watching you know i watch other people's reviews and other videos and stuff like that and um and the little short clips and stuff like that but i've been seeing a few on the the cheese steaks and i was like man that sounds really good and um and then i uh so i decided to google up you know how many places around here and there's there's actually a few there's not a whole lot but they all look kind of like they specialize in the cheese steak. And, um, um, you know, they, this one has a bunch of different types of, of cheese steaks, but it does have the classic. And that's, he said that that's their most popular one. And, um, let's see, um, some of the other ones specialize just in cheese steaks. I'm sure they do other ones too. But, um, so what I'm going to do is, um, Probably throughout the next few weeks, I'll probably visit each one of those places and then kind of decide which one I think is the best or whatever. You know, I just thought it would be kind of fun. You know, I know California is not really known for for the cheese steak, <laughs> but um, I do like the bag that they give you. It's kind of like a insulated bag. And uh, yeah, I got it with the peppers. And I got a provolone cheese. I heard a lot of, some people get it with cheese whiz, which is kind of interesting. And, oh wow. Yeah, this looks looks a lot like 
what I expected. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to hold it up. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this and then show it right here. Hang on. Okay, this is my tray. This is the sandwich. I wanted to show the full sandwich here. On It's on my tray. But there it is. It's got the peppers and uh, provolone cheese and grilled onions and, uh, and a roll. Looks really good. Okay, yeah, it's uh, it's looking good, man. <laughs> it's kind of looking like I like 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 I expected it to. Um, I'm gonna kind of situate the peppers a little bit. Some of them kind of fell off, and then I'm gonna hold it up. But look at that! Yeah. <laughs> peppers and cheese and meat they said that the the king of philly let me take these glasses off here they said that the king of philly this is what i got it's the king of philly they said it has 50 percent more meat on it than their classic <coughs> Woo! Pepper's got a little kick to it. I don't know if these are jalapenos or what. They look like just bell peppers. Had a little kick though. Let's go for a bite here. Mmm. Oh wow, that's good. And I got the provolone cheese. Mm. Man, I'm hungry too. This is pretty awesome. Yeah, like I was saying, the um, some of the ways that I've that I've found is that people eat it is with cheese whiz is 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 one of the ways that the, the, like in in Philadelphia where it's real authentic. That's where they come from, I guess. Um, they use cheese whiz for the cheese. I always thought it was provolone myself, so that's why I went with provolone because I like provolone. But he says they naturally they just go ahead and make them usually with um, white American cheese is what they use and um, so I don't know if that makes it you know that's what they use in their classics so but he did say that most people in Philadelphia use they request cheese whiz and they had it here too so maybe I'll try that sometime mmm Very good. Although, it's not cheap getting a Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Nothing's cheap anymore. Nothing is cheap. Plus the fact that I forgot my sodas too, man. I'm so bummed out about that because I had to pay for the soda like I don't like to do. You guys know I don't like to pay for the sodas, but... I had nothing else to drink and I figured I'm going to need some soda, so. Mmm. Man, that's good. Mmm. Almost could use a little uh, salt and pepper, actually, but it tastes pretty, pretty dang good. Mm. 
Yeah, this is over by Kaiser. And there's a lot of, yeah, it's right across the street from Kaiser. Um, and there's a, a lot of other types of buildings around here, office buildings and stuff like that. And um, yeah, the parking lot's actually starting to fill up a little bit. There's a few people that are going in there. And they have Kiki's chicken over here, which is uh, really good chicken. And I've talked about that before. I did a little short reel on Kiki's chicken garlic fries and they're delicious, they're so good. Uh, I was gonna maybe do a full full vlog on that eventually, but but they do have a Kiki's over here, and they have uh, a Bennett's Kitchen. It looks like uh, I'm not sure if that place is open. Maybe just for dinner, probably. And they have milk tea. Uh, look like a like a boba place over here too, and stuff. But yeah, this uh, actually looks pretty good. Mm. and I love that the roll is soft I don't like sandwiches with the, like real hard rolls I definitely like the uh, the softer rolls and this definitely has a nice soft roll this is very very good really good flavor on the bread mm. some people just got here and they met up with another lady but they're going somewhere else I think there's another restaurant over here oh I think it's a sushi place yeah I think they're all going to like sushi <laughs> I don't think they're going to the cheese cheesesteak place mmm <laughs> So good. Yeah, like I said, I got kind of inspired by some of the videos that I've been watching and stuff like that. And I was trying to think of, you know, something else I could do for, for, for lunch, you know, different channel, or, you know, different uh, type of uh, food instead of just regular fast food and stuff. I, now, I, I, I kind of like to find the good deals the really good deals and stuff like that and I like to spread the word on those and stuff like that like fast food and stuff like that but I do like to branch out a lot um, with with this type of stuff too you know and uh, if it's like a specialty sandwich in the area or something like that you know it's uh, it's good to check it out and I'll do a video on that um, like I'm doing today <laughs> but yeah it's it's really good it's got a lot of meat on it they said it was 50% more meat but look at that oh my god I don't even know I want to kind of hold it up again Ooh, look at that <laughs> I was trying to get a good thumbnail actually I just found out how to get the, the thumbnails on my shorts on the short reels, there's a way, I thought it just automatically generated for you on those, which I was kind of bummed out because it never gives you a good one really. But I did find out that it, you can create your own before you upload it. So uh, there's an option to edit the, and then you can choose which frame you want for your thumbnail. You can't upload your own, but um, like you can with the full length videos, but um, with the, the shorts, I should hopefully get a, some better uh, thumbnails on those <laughs> too, because some of those are not very good thumbnails. Um, but I did find out how to do it, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think there's a big sushi place over here. There's a lot of people meeting over here, looks like. Well, it's going for number number two, second part of the sandwich. Mm -hmm. Now, 
Now I could have got a, it was like five something more and I could have got fries. And I don't even know if that came with the soda or not. I didn't really pay attention to that part. I was just planning on just getting the sandwich. And um, so let me go over the price here real quick, actually. Um, it is called the Cheese Steak Shop. And it's here in Roseville. Oh, it doesn't give me an uh, itemized thing. But basically what I got is the King of Philly and uh, they only had one size soft drink, this size here. And uh, they had free refills as long as you sit inside there. But it was 2013. It doesn't have the tax breakdown or anything like that. But I think the sandwich itself was like 16. And then the soda was like almost four, three something plus the tax and stuff like that. So pretty pretty expensive but I um, I probably could have got the combo I'm not sure if it included the soda I should have I should have looked should have paid attention to that because I probably could have got some fries and a soda for maybe a little bit more they have Pepsi products in there which is uh, pretty cool and yeah let's eat more of this Mmm, so good. Kind of wish there was more cheese in it. Kind of more, uh, it, it's got enough, but this is pretty much what I would consider a, a classic cheesesteak, yeah. really good. Onions are good. Yeah, this place is filling up, but they're not going to the cheesesteak place. <laughs> they're going, <laughs> they're going to, uh... oh, they even have a nail shop here, but it's grooming shop for guys. It's a, it's like a, a nail shop for guys where you get pedicures. Uh, manicure and pedicure, I guess, you know, for guys. I've heard, uh, I've heard it's kind of, kind of a thing, you know, guys get pedicures and manicures. I don't personally spend money on that kind of stuff, but, <laughs> but hey. <laughs> oh yeah. Man, this is good. It's a little hard to eat, especially in this car because I'm so big and, and this tray goes right up to my belly. So it's sometimes hard to, to bend and, and take a bite. <laughs> Man, those peppers are good. Oh my gosh, they taste really good. And this is Roseville. This is an area where um, people do have more money out here. It's a fairly more well well to do area for sure. <clears throat> it always has been. And if you end up taking um, Douglas all the way down you hit Granite Bay and that's where the area where I was talking about like the Beverly Hills of Northern California you know that that kind of area um, it's uh, 
not too far from here. We're just on a kind of a different side of it. Um, but it's kind of borders that a little bit. So it's definitely, you know, people that are from around here, they know, you know, this area is typically a little bit more higher end, you know, which is the price, as you can tell by the prices probably, you know, too. That's probably why. If you didn't get the King of Philly, you could have got the, I could have got the classic, just the regular size, and that was $12.99. So that's not, not too bad. But like I said, you get 50% more meat with the King of Philly. And I was super hungry, and my eyes are bigger than my stomach a lot of times, you know, when I'm super hungry, and I'm like, man, I want the, I want the King of Philly, you know. So I went with that. But I could have probably got by with the other one. Mm. So good. <sighs> yeah, over the next few weeks, I'll try a few of the other ones. I probably won't do them all in a row because that'll be kind of boring, you know, but um, I'll kind of spread them out a little bit and eventually I'll get to um, the all of them and uh, kind of come to the conclusion of what, what I think is the best one. There it is. It is a little uh, juicy on the paper. <laughs> oh, and then there's more there. You have to get some napkins going. It is kind of cool that you can put it all in, back in this bag. There it is. Oh, I gotta wipe off a little bit of the tray too. It got kind of all over the tray. All right. Well, there you go. It was kind of a, um, it was a thing that I've been planning on doing since about the middle of the week. Um, I just didn't know which one I was gonna do first. And I decided to go with this one first, uh, the cheese steak shop. And um, they all have about the same reviews and stuff like that. There's not any that, that are, uh, they say that are horrible or anything like that. They all say they're pretty good. Um, so, uh, you know, next week or, you know, in the few weeks I'll eventually hit, you know, hit all of them and, and uh, and I'll kind of determine which one I like the best. And um, there is one over in North Highlands, and I think that one might be the most authentic because just the way they advertise it and stuff like that. And I probably should have went to that one first, but uh, I just went went for this one today, and uh, this was good. Uh, it was really good. And um, uh, like I said, you know, it's a little little pricey, but you kind of expect that with uh, kind of a specialty sandwich like this. And, uh, you know, it's kind of overall, it was kind of what I thought it would be, you know, it feels authentic to what I would think a, a cheesesteak would, would be and w what I've had in the past and stuff like that. And they, uh, tasted really good. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to call it good right there. I want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me on my lunch. I appreciate it. Um... I'm having a lot of fun with these videos. I know I, I'm, you know, I'm not going viral or anything like that, or you know, uh, um, you know, some of it can can be kind of silly and kind of maybe a little boring sometimes. But I do appreciate all the people that do watch the videos and um, and all the subscribers and stuff like that. I, I I really appreciate it. I'm I'm trying to grow the channel and and uh, and it's growing slowly. And, and you know, I'm not I I'm actually I'm actually kind of surprised on how many 
people um, do watch and, and how many subscribers that I do have already, you know, which is um, compared to some other channels, it's not much, but what a, it's, it's a, it seems like a lot to me because I didn't think anybody would really want to <laughs> listen to, uh, you know, you know, watch something, you know, cause I just kind of, just kind of winging it, you know, but, uh, but I do appreciate everybody that watches and, uh, and everybody that subscribed and, um, yeah, I'm going to keep going and, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun for me and, uh, hope you guys enjoy it also. And yeah, just call it good. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Watch some of the older videos and uh, give the video a thumbs up. And also, um, yeah, just leave a comment if you want. You know, if you, if you know of a place or if you are from Philadelphia and you know how it's supposed to actually be made authentically and stuff like that, uh, you know, give me a comment, you know, and, and let me know. And, and uh, maybe I'll order that at one of the next places. You know, if it's if the cheese whiz thing is really like the most authentic, you know, maybe I'll get that next time. I, like I said, I could have got it here, but. But anyway, uh, call it good. I want to say thank you, thank you again. Until uh, next time, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. See ya!